Hey there everyone and welcome to another Factorio Mod Spotlight. I'm Exterminator and thank you so much for joining me today. And in this spotlight we are covering the Ghost Counter Mod. Um, I'm very excited about this one and I'm really surprised it kind of flew under my radar of, of things to spotlight because uh, it's something that I personally wanted for a long time. Uh, but it's about 10 months old here and it's, it adds some really cool nice quality of life features. So what this allows you to do essentially is uh, first off count how many items of a selected area you're missing that are ghosted. Um, it'll make more sense um, when I do it and word it better. Um, and then also, more importantly than that, is be able to set automatic requests, logistic requests yourself for those items that are then, um, so they're temporary and then they're like wiped when those are fulfilled. Um, so let's go ahead and show this off so it makes a bit more sense. Um, it adds this button down here or you can use the hotkey Alt G uh, by default. Uh, and it, added, it brings up a thing that you can select an area uh, of ghosts. So I'm gonna go ahead and select um, most of this build. I wanna purposely not select the um, robo ports just for demonstration purposes. So I'll leave out a little bit of the build, um, but we still will get the idea. Um, so these are all, uh, well, yeah, these are all ghosts at the moment. I think for some reason, some of this didn't look like ghosts, but <laughs> it is. Um, these are all ghosts. Um, so I'm gonna select this and it will bring up this menu and it will show me how much of every single item I'm missing. So it not only shows what you're missing, it shows how much of each thing. Uh, and then if you have the required amount, it'll show you that you do and how much you have, which is super nice. Um, so you can see it takes 38 wooden chests. There's a check mark saying, yes, you do have it. Um, and in fact, I have 150 of them. Um, so that's really helpful. Uh, and then you have a few options here. You can um, export ghosts as signals, which I almost would never use some of you guys might use that though um, and then this can cancel all your temporary disk requests but they'll kind of cancel anyway once they're fulfilled um, this button here attempts to craft all missing items or you can do it in, on an individual level um, so it's like this is a little confusing control key shift plus control left click um, to craft I think normally I would just want to try to craft everything um, or you can control left click each individual thing to set requests just for that thing if you want to do that. Um, but for uh, most purposes, you would probably just be requesting all. So if we um, do this, it's going to add a temporary request and it will add it like on top of whatever I already have. I have these in here just to demonstrate. But then once the request is fulfilled, it'll just go back to your normal request. So if I click this, you can see it adds a request for everything that I'm missing for this build that I've selected. Um, and then once these are uh, completed, it'll just get rid of the temporary request. So I have all this stuff in, a, in chess here. I'm just gonna add some robots to the network to show this off. I'm gonna actually add a robo port or two here just so it charges a little faster. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And you can see these are gonna start bringing me all the stuff and you can see it being fulfilled, boom. And then it just got rid of the request. So it's not like you're stuck with these and have to manually clear them. It'll just automatically get rid of them, which is super, super nice. Uh, and then, you know, it says, okay, everything's done. And you could just uh, toggle hiding rows with no remaining ghosts. You could do that if you want, or you can just get rid of this um, and then do it again uh, on whatever else you need. Now the mod portal does say this works with blueprints. I cannot for the life of me get it to actually work with a blueprint. Um, it, the instructions for it say to just take a blueprint and then use the hotkey for this or click on the button for it, um, which brings this up, but like, I cannot figure out I've tried multiple times. I cannot figure out how to actually get it to just request the stuff straight from the blueprint or bring up the same menu. Um, like I could just select everything again, but at that point, I don't know why I would be doing a blueprint option. <laughs> this is just the same option. Um, so I'm not sure, maybe I'm just being really stupid. If anyone else has played with this mod or just see something really obvious that I'm missing um, on how this would work, please let me know. I've tried and tried and cannot get it to just bring up this menu just straight from a blueprint essentially, um, even though it says you can do that unless I'm misunderstanding. But even just with ghosts, this is super helpful. Um, so I really recommend it. Uh, just if you do like a lot of ghost building and don't want to be manually requesting all this stuff, you know, one by one, etc. Um, this is super nice. There's no tech with it because it just is a native uh, thing that it adds here in terms of settings. If we take a quick look here. The only option um, is under map, uh, a minimum update interval, which I would just leave at default. Uh, and it says that the UPS requirement for this, like the performance on the game, that performance impact is pretty low, which is really nice as well. 
Um, and there you go, guys. That's the mod. There is a link in the description to the mod portal page. We can check this out as always. And if you have any questions or thoughts, please leave them down below. Uh, and if you enjoyed, a like is appreciated. If you're new, feel free to subscribe to keep up with all future content. And until next time, I look forward to seeing you all and do take care.